Hi guys, I'm Damien Fernandez. I'm the CEO of VFX5 and the Chief Cloud Architect. I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about what we do. We're actually based in Miami, Florida, and we've been working on cloud journeys for about 13 years now. We actually love doing digital transformation. We do customer engagement projects. We also do cloud security and analytics. We specialize in financial services, mostly banks and insurance companies, but we're working with various kinds of companies out there. I'm gonna tell you today about a project that I'm really excited about is for BHD, Banco Hipotecario Dominicano. They're actually one of the top banks in Dominican Republic and they ask us to build a really robust, scalable website for their customers. So we picked Strapi. We're so excited to talk to you about today this project. Basically, we put Strapi together with Fargate in AWS and use a serverless database and we actually launched this about three weeks ago and everything is going so great. So I'm going to let Asir tell you a little bit more about how it works, but I'm really excited to be here today with you guys and I look forward to meeting you in the future. Hi, my name is Julio Los Santos. I'm the digital marketing manager for Banco BHD in the Dominican Republic. We have actually Strapi as our CMS. We evaluated about four options in the process and decided on Strapi because we definitely are building with the vision of future. We are undergoing our digital transformation and in that process we decided that we were gonna buy and, and establish a modern digital stack that we can build upon in the future. We decided also that Strapi gave us the possibility to start developing as we went and scale up. And we are definitely very happy with the results. The platform behaves very well. We have gained a platform that's way more modern, more flexible for the work that we do, for what the digital transformation that the bank is undergoing needs for the future. And we're definitely looking forward to continue growing, to continue developing, and to continue expanding our knowledge with Strapi by our side. So, big hello, and thank you, Strapi, for all the help. Hi, guys. I'm Azhar Aleem, and I'm a technical leader at DFX5. Currently, I'm leading the engineering team for the BSC project. So talking more about the BSE project, we've uh, engineered the solution using the Strapi headless CMS for optimistic updates so that their users do not have to wait for any backend operations to complete. So we have combined the robustness of Strapi CMS with Angular for the front end. The deployment is done using the AWS cloud. We basically utilize the AWS uh, Fargate service that pulls in the Strapi Docker image from an ECR repository and then it runs it within a private uh, subnet. We also utilize Postgre RDS database in a private subnet as well as, and its configurations are fetched from environment variables um, of the Fargate. This provides us better maintainability, security and scalability. But I would like to give you a short uh, tour of our, our Strapi admin portal and what features we utilize from our, uh, from our Strapi admin portal. So a brief background about the BHD project is to build a platform for the marketing team of the BHD so that they can easily update and curate content that reflects on the front end. So as you can see that we have built quite a lot of collection types and single types backed up with reusable components which are um, reused throughout either the collection types or the single types. So moving forward to a quick demo of one of the use cases that we had was to build dynamic pages and link them to particular pages. Um, so for example, if I search for, if I would like to create a product card, I would head over to one of our templates that we've created. So let's say, as you can see, uh, if I move forward to Quintus, in version, I would like to add a product card over here. I would head over to one of the types that it is associated to, which is T3. Then I would um, add a product card. I would search for a product cards. I've built a few product cards beforehand. Um, so I would select this test product card, 
which currently does not appear uh, within the grid uh, once I save this it should appear there and then and uh, and then if I move forward with the test product card which itself is another collection type I can associate uh, dynamic components over here which gives us the flexibility to add r uh, dynamic pages on the runtime um, for example if I would like to add this type and I have a pre-built test page I would link it and simply save it and if I refresh and hover over to the test page it should open up um, the associated or linked page I can go into that particular type and edit this in order to reflect the changes once again and you see the changes now reflect so it's that easy to build runtime pages using the strappy dynamic zone component moreover uh, we also utilize the media library for storing all the media which is backed by the AWS S3 bucket and serves the content through uh, CloudFront then we have some um, external integrations that we've run through content export and import between environments and then we also have Meli search for the application wide search we also utilize um, the role based services uh, so we have different roles created because we have a lot of users for the bank and uh, we need to provide granular access to each user so we we are utilizing the role based access feature from strapi we've created multiple roles and we've assigned respective users to each role so that they only have the authority to to, to do what they are assigned of apart from this we also utilize the audit logs in order to um, in order to search for any changes that happen throughout the applications all the actions are um, are listed in the audit logs strapi has great customization capabilities so one of the scenarios that i can demonstrate is uh, uh, we wanted to integrate application wide search uh, for example, if you search for any keywords, uh, they would show up from certain uh, types from Strapi, either collection or single types. Um, so for example, um, we found a very great uh, plugin that we could integrate with Strapi, you know, without doing all the overhead of creating um, or writing a new custom plugin. Uh, we found a, a pre-built plugin, which is very easy to integrate with Strapi, that's called Melisearch. Um, we can pick out our single or collection types that we want to integrate um, and let's say for example just to demo you how this works in real time so uh, I would like to uh, change the search criteria for one of the cards let's say for example I would like to change the heading for this particular card and see that in real time um, in the search bar um, so let's say for example if I change it to Visa Classica Pesos 2 I would um, see that immediately reflect on the front end so that is one of the greatest uh, you know awesome features that I really like about Strapi uh, it's highly customizable it helps you um, integrate multiple plugins and really serves our uh, and surfaces our needs